from bustling Fisherman's Wharf to its nostalgic cable cars. San Francisco prepares to showcase its charms on a global stage. The city is hosting the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Meeting for the first time ever. This is a great opportunity. Everybody knows us as the innovation capital of the world, but in so many, and in the past administration, they've highlighted other states and cities in the nation. But to be highlighted, San Francisco being highlighted is important because first of all, we do have a really huge Asian population. And the thing is that being the gateway to the Pacific, as well as from the Asia Pacific to the US of A, I think it just makes sense uh, that it takes place here. From an opportunity perspective, in fact, more than a third of San Francisco's population is of Asian and Pacific Islander descent. It's also home to San Francisco Chinatown, which is billed as being the largest Chinatown outside of Asia and the oldest Chinatown in North America. The economic ties between San Francisco and the Asia Pacific region are also strong. The city's customs logs around $100 billion from two-way shipping to APEC members every year. It's really a powerful relationship. The activity that goes in and out of the Port of Oakland, you know, we're a major agricultural and other export port, mostly going to the Asia Pacific area. We have a ton of semiconductors, computer equipment, electronic equipment that goes in and out, primarily through SFO, uh, to and from Asia. So it's a major global trade center. And we look at the companies from around the Asia Pacific area that are invested here, that have a presence on the ground, it's enormous. With the U.S. and China embroiled in a contentious trade dispute, Randolph is hoping the San Francisco-hosted event can help jumpstart the relationship. In fact, on this ferry, the Bay Area Council will be hosting events during APEC week. He believes one of the biggest selling points for San Francisco is cutting-edge technology. I think part of the reason that San Francisco was chosen, it is the number one global epicenter for technology and innovation, and everybody in the world knows it. More than half of all the leading AI companies in the United States that are receiving serious investment are based in the Bay Area, uh, primarily in San Francisco. With hundreds of CEOs gathering at the event, Randolph believes APEC in San Francisco provides a rare opportunity for delegates to meet with tech innovators and strike up a relationship that could prove beneficial in the long run. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.